Ah, the orange box. What a great purchase. But how am I going to cover five games in one video? Well, technically, there's only three because two of them are Half-Life 2 episodes. And I haven't even played the first Half-Life. I'm going to have to pass on that one. Alright, Team Fortress 2. Another chance for me to play a multiplayer-only game, lose, feel bad about myself, and take it out on my PlayStation 3. Box. Definitely passing on that one. So, Portal it is. Son of a bitch, it's another first person game! Actually, I guess I'm not that upset. I just failed to recognize that there was an asshole to them released in the later half of 2007. Now, it's pretty hard to miss the hype on this one, but I'd like to remind all the haters of my Bioshock video that just because a game is popular doesn't mean it has to tickle my fancy. But if your game's called Portal, damn, I'm already on board. All my friends were more than willing to tell me about Portal, especially when I didn't want to listen. However, nobody ever told me that there was a plot, not that there needs to be. It's just really nice that at least one thing wasn't spoiled, or rather spoiled and then ran into the ground about a hundred times. You are a test subject at Aperture Laboratories, and you will use the portal gun so the laboratory can see just how innovative humans can get with it. Extremely simple concept. Shoot a portal onto one wall, shoot a portal on the other wall. Step through one portal and then you'll appear on the other side of the other portal. And you know, most good ideas are simple, but I was shocked at how great this game is. Usually, I don't get down with first-person platform games, because I think a lot of the inherent problems could be fixed with, well, a third-person perspective. Portal is way different. First of all, it is a professionally constructed puzzle game that relies on the system of you use intelligence to solve something and the fuzzy feeling reward. Second of all, don't be an ingrate, you have a gun that breaks the laws of physics! As with Prince of Persia, it's an introduction to fun game, meaning when you start out, you don't even have the gun. You gotta learn the basics first. Which is good, because I was really scared when I started out. I thought they were gonna throw me into a dark room and say, go! And all those things that I was told about ad nauseum, the computer voice, the sentry guns, the companion cube, I finally began to realize how awesome they are. Mostly because the loudmouth dullard wasn't part of the equation anymore. Damn it, people piss me off. All the elements of Portal come together so well that I actually had to look for problems. Nah, I'm just joshing ya. I'm not one of those online entertainers who has to find things to yell at. Besides, I'm a lover, not a hater. Getting back on track, there were a few things that knocked down my experience a notch. I was having the greatest fun I could recall in recent history until they started playing that background music, if you could even call it that. It's just that stark noise that you usually hear in Resident Evil games. And it doesn't even belong there! Actually, I think I found a solution to that. All I had to do was violate my rule of all sliders to the right and then substitute with something different. Problem solved! As you get closer to the end of the game, the puzzles and timing tend to get pretty ridiculous. But of course, that's the thing about first-person shooters. They tend to have an uncanny state machine. Meaning, you save somewhere, you'll load in the exact same place with the exact same status. Another problem solved. Also, I really didn't like the fact that it was Based easy to get vertigo with this game. Wanna know the solution to that? Just puke! No Alright, fine. This game is flawless. At the end of it all, something very unfortunate happened. After I beat the game and all the credits started rolling and that song started up, I inadvertently punched myself in the crotch. Twice. Perhaps we need a little bit of a backstory. One day two years ago, I was at work on an email thread with some of my friends that linked to a video of a guy playing a song called Still Alive on a piano, to which everyone was replying that was a great song. To which I replied, Look guys, this sounds nothing like Pearl Jam, and he's just playing a piano. To which they replied, you would understand what he was doing if you had played Portal. This email was nowhere close to polite. This happens every time I say that I haven't played a video game. I get ridiculed, and then I get a plot summary. All done with such an elitist overtone that I have no choice but to shut down and not believe anything that they say. And after Bioshock, can you really blame me? So you see, when you send me all these personal messages telling me to play Uncharted or Modern Warfare when I haven't asked for your opinion, you're doing exactly what my annoying friends did. And if you think I shouldn't be saying anything bad about my friends on YouTube, don't worry, they're all too busy playing Rock Band for illogical reasons. Well, besides Portal being the true end of the end between me and my friends, it's a great game. I know in the past that I said three hours is way too short, but for Portal, it's just right. There are quite a few challenges that you can try after you beat the game, which caught me hook, line, and sinker. But when I beat the challenge of completing a level with only nine portals, and then it immediately told me to complete it with five portals, the words, now try for platinum, started ringing in my ears. I then had to threaten the game. So as my final statement, I will say, Portal is the true pinnacle of entertainment for 2007, and when you beat it, you might as well just burn it. Now, if you don't mind, 
I'm gonna go rest up before my birthday. Huh. 